Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in Dallas, Los Angeles. Light. I'm looking here we'll and then I'll, I'll look up. Oh, promotions. I've never done that. Yeah, it'll catch you. Everyone's wild. Hey, special episode. Yeah. Episode yeah. five. Yeah. Episode yeah. fifty. Yeah. Episode fifty. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and you know a couple texts here and there and boom we were we were off to the race i, I don't want the smoke to be in here because i feel like i'm gonna it feels like my eyes are teary uh, it's a little smoky I'm like, <laughs> hey i appreciate <laughs> you man, I appreciate Damn, man. Damn. Yeah. no but when i started it man it was just really was oh uh, i wanted to do something different i wanted to do something because i wanted know. to keep doing what i was doing you know yeah. what i mean i was really enjoying that uh, the Fox broadcasting said, and stuff, said, you know, not so, not so much, and uh, yeah, and then everything just kind of continued to snowball from there. So it's, it's been a great snowball effect. This is episode 50. Thank y'all for tuning in, yeah, thank really. y'all for following, appreciate it, telling the friend to subscribe, yeah, and uh, continuing to enjoy what we do. We enjoy what we do. And the last thing I'm gonna say about it is, uh, my uh, my little brother was texting me just a couple of days ago. And he said, he asked me if I do, if I study before I do broadcast and stuff like that. And I, I study the fights, but I don't really study everything that I'm going to say. So on and so forth, I say I'm pretty natural at it. I said, the crazy thing is with the podcast, we never, there's nothing scripted. Right. Here. We don't know what we're going to do, what we're going to say, whatever. Hence the smoke alarm, hence <laughs> the, the banner almost falling down. You know what I mean? I think it's worth it to give people an authentic me, to give people a real me and Y'all probably didn't even know y'all was in my house, but like to bring people into the port away, you know what Shout I mean? Shout out to so Nathan. Family. That's what we do. Yeah. Mount Union legend. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah do we know yeah. what flavor the cake is, by the way? <laughs> Ant's thing is yellow cake. Yeah. yeah. With, with chocolate frosting. Yeah, that didn't look like that didn't look like I, my type of cake. I told I said, I told my wife, I said, yo, this is what he likes, but tell them to put some stank on it. So Oh, okay. Some stank on that. Okay. I don't know I where the stank of, at. I but. think of most deaf on the Chappelle show with the yellow cake uh -huh. and the napkin. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was funny because today at home, shit. I was like, I'm gonna make a cake. It's oh, it's due. I haven't made a cake for my birthday. And she's uh -huh. like, nah, you don't need a cake making of all this type of stuff. Uh -huh. She got me. Uh -huh. I, I wasn't prepared for this. You didn't pick up on it. Nah, nah. <laughs> Y'all got me. She been getting me all week, actually. People will text me like, "What's your side? Yo, yo, side shirt you wear?" I'll be like, "Oh, you about to buy me something?" So, yeah, I pick up on everything. I know what's cracking. I get excited. Like, it's me? large. I get anxious. I, <laughs> I, get I like excited. to be able to control my environment. <laughs> so when people y'all start blue, I'm like, uh, "Oh man!" Yeah. The, the one funny thing we, I think you and I were talking about it recently with surprise parties, is the best is when somebody has it figured out and they just keep trucking through it. Like there was a couple years ago for my birthday. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I don't really need to go out to dinner. And my wife's like, no, let's go to dinner. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Just grab, pick something up, eat at home, whatever. And my cousin's there, no, let's go to dinner. And I'm like, okay. At this point, I yeah, clearly yeah, realized yeah, oh, yeah. something set up. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, let's go to dinner. And then both yeah. you jabronis were there. But, yeah. Hey. Um, yeah. yeah. Somebody texted me uh, for my birthday. Uh, random question. I was like, all right, here we go. Somebody texted me. Hey, What's well, your birthday? What was your football number? I said, I said, oh, I know what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> I know what this is about. And they were like, yeah, you'll get that October 25th. Come My surprises <laughs> never work out, by the way. No. You, am that, I right? That one worked out. That you were, one. were you a part of that? No, kind of? I was a part of it. I wasn't part of the smoke alarm. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that and was I crazy. Said, I texted them like, yo, stay posted. I tell you when to come in, all this yeah. net. No, my surprises never work out. So I tell you what yeah. I do. Tip for when your ladies always want something, like th throughout the year, screenshot it. So when it's for a birthday... You know what to get. You got it. That's a good call. That's the old, that's that's the veteran game. Yeah, right I've been doing this for a minute, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, about five, six years in, baby. And, and we are also after, for those wondering, timing wise, after the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight. Mm -hmm. For anyone curious. And speaking we of We had fun watching it. Dave was mad hype. But oh, we should got oh, we wouldn't be able to get him on right now. No, we couldn't <laughs> get him on right now. That'd be funny. Um, oh, can I can I just, go ahead, just yeah. clear something oh, up go from do last week? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, Ugas won that fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Yeah, like, you know, oh, yeah. You, uh, it was a little resistance from was, that side of the room. Last <laughs> the legend. It was nine in the morning. Hadn't got any sleep, right? I went straight yeah, from yeah, fight night. Yeah, stayed yeah, up yeah. all night with my yeah. boy, Ben. Yeah, very true. And we're watching in the in the bleachers. So Manny's activity and him throwing 400 more punches, it looks good. Got to watch the fight later that night, day on Sunday. And um, we touched on everything Ugas did brilliantly. Yeah. So just to add to that, yeah, he won the fight. Yeah. So. And <laughs> and not and again not to dwell on that, but I, I'm a little critical. Manny having a little more excuses than I would like. <laughs> well, you know Carson hates excuses. Yeah. You know what though? I just let him go, Carson. Almost all great fighters make them. 
Yeah. It's almost yeah. the mark. Like, I remember when Eric Morales got uh, knocked out by Pacquiao in their third fight when he did the no mas. Think of a good excuse quick. And, <laughs> and when Morales, after the fight, said, he's just better than me. That's when I knew his prime was done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the greats, uh, Ali, when he, he sit, I remember Ali sitting there with his jaw like this after Frazier. He's you like, can't okay. say I remember. Oh, right, right, okay. I okay. saw. He saw. He saw. <laughs> I, I remember watching on YouTube at <laughs> right. 20 years old. No, no, no. I saw. Right. And he's there. Uh, you know, clearly I won the fight. He could barely talk with yeah. his jaw. So yeah. I, I just always remember from most great fighters, they make excuses. You yeah, know? Some of but, it, I guess, I, and to close on that, I think Pacquiao came off as a little disrespectful to Ugas that he was like, he's the weakest fighter or something. That, like that, the that the line, most beatable yeah. fighter I've. And I'm like, okay, that, you're doing a little too that's much. That's disrespectful. Like, that's just disrespectful. So, and once you get to that point, I just, I just Is don't that after the fight? Yeah, this was he did. Yeah, an interview I, I, I just back off when you. He's start. saying uh -huh. his legs were all, yeah, which I get, but then to say like, oh yeah, Ugas, he's very beatable. Yeah. Like this, he said he's one of the easiest opponents. Yeah, he that's a, that's just a little much. Let's stay here for just a second okay. because why did you I lose have... the Keith? Huh? <laughs> 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 no excuse. Hey Sean, yeah, yeah Sean don't make Not excuses. A great yeah, <laughs> of course, I Sean, Sean don't most make great yeah, fighter. Yeah. yeah, but Deontay Wilder, his original excuse right out the fight was, I was going through stuff. No, it was I was going through stuff. You know, but I make no excuses, and then. I ain't even gonna start that because y'all gonna. Hey, I know y'all get about Deontay. Deontay I mean, fans are real. Yeah. yeah. What did you have? Do you have you have yeah, an uh, on that? Well, Zaytel comes over fight hype, right? We did. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Ben, yeah. my guy. Ben, shout out to Fighthype.com. Fighthype.com. We did an interview, and we we were just really breaking it down some more. And the craziest thing is that. Pack has never fought a Cuban fighter with all of the experience that he has. I'm great interview. 70 plus great fights. interview. Thank you. Yeah. Go check out that interview with Son Fai. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just like I had to, I have to analyze everything, and I always do. And so I was like, where did did Pack come up short? Yes, yes, he did not use those legs. Yeah. Maybe there was something wrong with the legs before the ring. Maybe he thought he didn't need them. And then what I what I feel is that he felt like he didn't need them. And then he could not go to them once he did yeah. need them. But anyway, he's never fought a Cuban fighter in his entire career, which I just think is kind of mind blowing. Yeah. Beyond that, that particular punch, that right hand that is notorious for Cuban fighters and the uh, Islanders, uh, see Dominican fighters throw it. Puerto Rico, maybe, but not too often. Um, but those those islands, they throw that punch spe specifically. The overhand or the all the experience the kind of the he's had, sweeping. he's never seen that punch. Did not know how to adjust to it, and neither did his corner. And so the thing that we really got to, which I'm bringing into this episode, is at the end of it, the end of our show, we said, "Hey, Pack, go away." We don't want to see you against. We don't want to see I you like against. They reworded it a little. Wait, 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 all right, all right. Excuse me. We that. said you pack pretty much hit pack you right. You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell we out said, of here. <laughs> we we said, said it with love. Right, yeah. right, right. We said pack your retire, go ahead to the Philippines, be a president, did it continue all. to do do everything that you've been doing. You've done it all. Two Hall of Fame careers. We uh, we can't say enough about everything that you you've done. I still but, feel the same. But like, go ahead. but but me, but me. After a few days, I thought about. it. I said. Pulled you back in. Rematch your Dennis Ugas. Yeah. If you're going to keep going. If you keep going, rematch your Dennis Ugas. I think it's the perfect fight for both of those fighters. Yeah. Perfect fight for Manny to take to the Philippines. I think it sells in the Philippines. It sells to the audience. It sells to TV. Does Ugas go to the Philippines? Ugas goes to the Philippines. For the money, you said if he's you a, pay him. He's a money man. Oh, I did say I see he's you, got, you have to pay. You have right. to pay Ugas. Yeah, yeah, he's a money man. I just, I just, I could not get over the way that that Ugas fought. Yeah, and I. And oh, I felt oh, like, oh, oh I slow, down, slow down. I'm like, I'm effing slow up. Down. <laughs> we, we good for his introduction, but we not good for nothing else. So <laughs> be cool with Jimmy Lennon Jr. That's my The classy, guy. the classy. Yeah, yeah, so I just think that it makes so much sense for, for, for a rematch if Manny is to continue to fight, to do it in the Philippines. And I kind of felt like I was uncovering some genius there so I, I did wanted to bring i wanted to bring that back so i'm glad we kind of started right there with matt can you stop yeah. take it easy take it easy over there um stop testing it. yeah i still i i, I, I still think got, retire. Got, i don't yeah. i don't hate the idea i guess but uh -huh. yeah i don't know you still prefer retirement yeah just yeah. I, I think just retire you don't you don't have to prove anything to me to yeah. boxing to yeah anybody. for the most part no one's gonna remember this fight yeah it, 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 it is yeah. what it is and that's not to discredit Ugas. Ugas won. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You know, just that's it. It's kind of like Mike Tyson. I know people are in the comments and say, yes, we are. Think about it. Mike Tyson. We just think about how great he was. When you yeah. think about the ass whooping Lance Lewis put on him, or and Kevin to, McBride, or Danny Williams. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> Mike Tyson, man. and also <laughs> Danny to, McBride. Oh, one more thing to <laughs> Ugas. When, <laughs> I, when I fought, shut up. When I fought, <laughs> <laughs> when I fought Kell Brook, you lost. Speaking of ass whoopings, <laughs> didn't make any excuses. <laughs> Cause you're not a great fighter. Okay, all right. I'm not a great I fighter. I said most. <laughs> listen, not listen, all. Listen. So when I fought Kell Brook, I, yeah. I continued to do the same thing for 12 rounds. I've covered yeah. all that. Yeah. The same thing when Ugas fought me. I felt like I, I learned from that fight with Kell yeah. Brook, 100. Mm -hmm. And I felt like Ugas learned from that fight you with did, me. You did, man. From him, he had understood that I yeah. can't continue to do one thing in order to win a fight. And not only that, with the the way he came to the ring against Manny doing four or five different things throughout the course of that fight I just thought it was fantastic yeah. so I do, I do want to say that I think that there's there's you can grow at any point Absolutely. in your career don't think that Manny with 70 something fights being almost 43 probably if he'll be 43 if he fights again that he won't have learned anything from this yeah. fight right and, here and that's so. why you need those championship rounds that you always speak of yeah. right? and that's why I worry about somebody that they don't have them championship rounds but Jake Paul Nope, I'm talking about oh. Taylor Swain. Said, and you made me say it. You made me say it. Uh, you made me say it. The Go ahead. Guy. Go ahead. No, so I just, that's what the only thing I worry about about the Cater Plant uh, Canelo Alvarez fight that he don't have the elite championship rounds in. Because so. we, we we were trying to get to that last week and I was like, I was clocked out because oh, I had somewhere to be. Yeah, we also still have <laughs> until November. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, we still got right. time. So no, we don't need to touch on right. it too yeah. much. But I just feel like he need more experience with like elite fighters mm -hmm. before you take on a Canelo at. LRS. But if you offer me $10 million, taking a fight. Yeah. Business wise, I'm taking a fight. Yeah. So you don't you don't think it's really like he can't test him with in terms of talent, hand speed, that stuff, it's just experience. It's just do you feel like in terms of or do you feel think, like that's maybe just something that can come up in certain moments? I just think when it's time to dig deep, certain experiences you need when you're fighting a top dog, and if you never you don't know if you got it if you never have to go there. Right. Yeah. So in doing these times against Canelo, you're gonna need to Go there or not? Like, even with Sean, can I, <laughs> yeah, go. Okay. All right, even with the Sean uh, Crawford fight, I'm just allegedly, I, yeah, allegedly <laughs> fight. I don't know it's nothing. It's so going down. don't say nothing. <laughs> Tune in. Really, but, you know the, 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 the possible fight. Yeah, I just think some experience is going to matter in that fight. Yeah, take it how you want it. I feel like experience is going to matter in that fight. Yeah, I agree. But let's get back to uh, fight today. Yeah, let's get back to the to the elite <laughs> fighting. Yeah, um, Dave was hype. Charles That's Conwell, good. Who was yeah. hype? Charles Conwell, Dave, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dave. Dave. Chappelle. I thought you said Dave. Yeah, Dave uh, Chappelle. Dave. He was hype. into it. Um, yeah, Charles Conwell wins on the non televised portion. Um, good. Congrats. Cleveland native. <laughs> Sean, you said like didn't see the whole fight. It was not televised. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see, see it. it so though. I wish I had saw it. I, okay, so no, so yeah, that was we watched the highlights of the but, uh -oh. but I did look at you and I said he could be next at one fifty four. Right, he he can be next at one fifty four. He's an Olympian, so he's yeah. supposed to be next at one fifty four. But I just think that there's some things missing right now from the business side for him, and I think that um you know I think that if his if the business side for him is able to pick up, then he should be next at one fifty four. He's he's a, if you have not seen Charles Conway, he's a solid fighter, Cleveland fighter. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? That means he can box. That means oh, okay. that means he can use the ring, but he can also come at you. Hey, um, so, Roger Mayweather said the greatest fighters come from the Midwest. That's yeah. right. He's not lying. Hey. That's a fact. Um, I, I ain't question <laughs> you. I would say hindsight. Don't put no hands on me. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but. I truly wish that Conwell fight was on TV instead of the Fury fight. Oh, for sure. Looking back. For sure. That fight was, I don't, we don't even need to really comment on that. What did they, what like were they going because of the name? Like why? I guess. And yeah. Then, and Jake possible Paul opponent for kinda, Jake Paul. And then I, think, right, right, I believe right. the guy that, that Fury fought was a sparring partner of Jake Paul. So <laughs> kind of just all tied together. Oh, they together. were trying to, trying to tie Trying to do something. <laughs> but like, it was five, six against six feet. Like yeah. it, it was ugly. Yeah. No stoppage, four rounds, whatever. Yeah. Uh, was he legit five, six or were you playing? No, he's five. Okay. He was listed at five, six and a half. So oh, he's probably five, shit. four. But um, my high fighting that heavyweight. Yeah. Or uh, damn near heavyweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Dwight Muhammad Kawi back in the day. Come on, man! Don't do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. lost he's us. Cool. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, man, yeah. right? Yeah. Boxing yeah, yeah. guru. Yeah, yeah. 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 boy. Uh, but man, that that next fight. You see his fights with Holyfield. That next fight was a was a shootout. Oh yeah. Ranchick and uh, Montana uh, yeah, Love, and man. Montana. Shout out to yeah. Montana Love. You yep. showed me something I didn't think you had, buddy. Be honest. 
He could dig deep because he got hit with some. Yeah, he got hit with some stuff. Yeah. yeah, he did. I thought he got dropped once into the ropes, but hey. I mean, yeah. I saw uh, like you were talking about earlier. You don't know what you're made of until those moments pass. Mm -hmm. And I saw M Montana very unsettled early with that pressure. And then once he got cracked with those shots, it was like I'm still here. I'm good. You know what? Let me let me, let me get some what I'm doing now. And mm -hmm. I, he got better after those shots landed. Yeah. He settled down, started sitting down on that nice, left hand, yeah, left hand. Whether what we talked about whether there was a a straight left hand, a counter hook, and anything uppercut, he was just. That left hand was, mm -hmm. was right where it needed to be right mm -hmm. on time. But mm -hmm. So it's always fun to see yeah. a guy grow in front of your eyes Absolutely. in the fight. You know, whether that means he's going to go on and become champion or whatever, but it was it was good to for see them, him grow yeah. in that fight. And then Baranchek, that knockout as a paid, I think it showed yeah. up a little bit tonight. Pull up Montana, please. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, uh -huh. oh man. All right, <laughs> Charles Combo, R. 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 Um, yeah, <laughs> Cleveland fighter. I'm ha I'm happy just from that experience. Right, you know, you're a Cleveland guy. You get yeah. to have a. I mean, that's a statement win. Obviously, oh, for sure. Obviously, Branchick lost a lot of, like you said, lost a lot of the juice versus Cepeda. But um, yeah, comes comes back strong. I don't know. Wait, do you have any grand takeaways on, on Montana? Do you impress you in any way that you weren't expecting? I was impressed. Um, no, he didn't actually. Vice versa for me, he didn't show me anything I didn't know he didn't have. Okay, because uh, you've been in the ring with him, right? But, I, but I've seen him okay. since he's a kid, I, okay. so I know everything that he had. But the timing, yeah, uh, that southpaws just they, they have just something about southpaws. Yeah. They have the ability to counter punch, unlike unlike or orthodox fighters. <laughs> They just their ability to counter punch is like really special. Yeah. That upper that uppercut, if you go back and take a look at it, I got a good look at the replay a couple of times. It was the, the what what I would call what we refer to in boxing as the juke move. He came right, then went back left, and Baranchik was following him the the entire night. So I mean, he beautiful setup yeah. to go right, go left, get this kid walking oh, right back boom. into it, and drop a, a uppercut, left yeah. uppercut, lead left uppercut. Um, it's 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 one of the rarest punches that you can throw from the outside, and if you pay attention, a lot of the southpaws they're able to land a lead left uppercut, which is it's just really smooth. They got the they they have the angle, and if they have the fighter that's coming forward like that, yeah, the the slick ones know how to set it up. So Montana is is one of those slick fighters. Um, he's gonna battle uh, discipline. He's gonna battle uh his his identity in terms of what weight class he wants to fight in. Uh, I, I heard something that he called out Gervonta Davis at the end of the yep. fight. He Josh should Taylor. be fighting at 135. I don't know where this fight was was contracted at. Contracted at 140. Come on down to 135. Yeah. He can be a champion at 135. At 140, I think he's given up too much. I think yeah. that a guy with, with that kind of pressure, but with better, better boxing ability, better boxing, better, better feet, gets to him a lot better than Bar Baranchik was able to tonight. So, um, for the most part, man, he what does he call himself? Uh, too pretty. Too pretty. Too pretty. Uh, that's it, man. That's Montana that's kind of that's kind of who he is, you know. But in this sport, you can't be too pretty. At some point, you gotta let that pretty go. Hey, uh, I, I kind of knew. I kind of know him. I mean, yeah, I yeah, met him yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what he portrays, he lives it <laughs> he do. outside the ring. I'm gonna be honest. He do. He do. Now, I hung around this he guy do. for like a couple of months. Yeah. Hey, he lives it yeah. outside the ring. Yeah. yeah. He, He's a fun fighter yeah. to watch. Yeah, it was, it was he's really entertaining. Fun. Yeah, it was it was fun. He's it, it's not always easy to be a defensive fighter and be fun to watch. Like he was obviously it, it takes two to tango. So yeah. Branchick's walking him down. Right. Yeah. Kind of see the little, hard, little hard not to have a fun fight with that guy. Yeah, yeah. Because he Montana had him hurt maybe three times before the mm -hmm. before the final knockout. Yeah. And every time he heard him, he so he celebrated. Oh, that man! Like, so, <laughs> the he threw his arms up, up. put him down, and he hit him with one shot, and, with, and he hit like. Uh, and we were like, yeah. well, go, yeah. Yeah, go, 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 yeah. go!" He's a but, character. Yeah, he's, a we character. need characters. Hey, is it like it's like tough, hard nosed Ohio fighters? Then it's. Montana Love and Broner. Montana Love, Adrian Broner, and all those type yeah, of fighters yeah. in, from Ohio. Yeah. And I guess you need it. I got, he's got a little more Cincy flavor to him, maybe. Yeah. No, that's. I, I would say that. Yeah, that's that's little, Cleveland, man. That's Cleveland. I've never seen you or Mickey Bay do that. Man, he said Mickey Bay. You could have said anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's Cleveland. You yeah. know what I mean? Cleveland's all about style. Cleveland's all about being fresh. Styles make fights. And um, <laughs> shout out to Styles make fights. You know what I mean? Man, Chris Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. I see y'all. Working. They working. They, yeah, was, they working. They working hard. tonight. Yeah. They working hard. Good, they, good win, though. Yeah. And then, uh, 
Next fight was Serrano. Uh, no, Dubois was Dubois. first. Yeah, right. Dubois. Right. Giuseppe, he got him. he got flat. Hey, he got him out of there. You can't win them all. Yeah, <laughs> you know. or any of them. It's all right. Hey, Giuseppe, it's okay wherever you are. Yeah, uh, Rona. Right. I think it was Rona. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia, is where Giuseppe was, but. Okay. Oh, fun. you can't do that accent for him, man. I know. No, I, I was, I was from Virginia. I think he's the Sicilian sensation, so you can absolutely he's do that. Sicilian sensation. He's got, he's got the damn know? Italian right. flag tattoo. He did us proud. Right. Right. In, in the one round, he still did us proud. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he, got, hey, he said, hey, I got flattened. I don't know. You don't understand. We got to go. Okay, that's what we're doing now? Like, <laughs> Let him do it. Uh, no. I, 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 but, man, they both got hype. It was like I was in a mafia. He started to communicate to one another. To, I was like, what boom, the hell? Boom, boom, Mancini was in the building. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's my dude uh, right there. He knows. He knows. But the, uh, Dubois, <laughs> nice to see Dubois. Hey, a, hey, give him a boom, boom fact. A boom, boom fact? Yeah. From Youngstown? No, no, talking about, no. Oh, the, yeah, he, he took some out <laughs> in the ring, yeah. Former yeah. lightweight champ, had yeah. a great fight with Arguello. And yeah. one, I mean, he took somebody out, he took him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, he, uh, no, Youngstown is, that's nothing to play with. But nah. That, uh, <laughs> but, that, but Triple D. Yeah. Dynamite Dubois. Yeah, happy to see him come back from uh, from the loss to Joyce and the orbital injury. Gets Giuseppe out of there pretty quickly and without much uh you look happy and comfortable. Yeah. Which is, which is cool to see after something like that. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? Still ranked number one in WBC, right? WBA. 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 Oh, of you course. Already know. You already of course. Know. He's actually, that was a title win. No, it wasn't. I'm just bullshit. Because losing shot. by knockouts should totally get you rated number one. Yeah, absolutely. That, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion there. But <laughs> it does. So Dubois gets the win. He said he wants to come back to America. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of him. Did, uh, he, did he say Cleveland or did he say the American? He said I want to come back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I and knew then, what he and meant. Then, and I then Ar Ariel Hawani, who did a great job on the telecast. Yep. I said, you'd like to come back to America? He said, absolutely. Yeah, so. yeah. I thought, um, you know, and, and again, like we, we were talking, okay, the opponent's the opponent. Yeah. But something about how he came to the ring and how he handled his business in one round yeah. was very encouraging for him. It wasn't like, gun wasn't gunshot? Not, we, no. We've seen that. He took, I mean, he took not that long of a fight, but he took right. some shots, which yeah. sometimes after you have an injury like that, you're going to be a little more, more wary. There's guys, after but, they get knocked out, you could put them in there with a, a with cream me. puff and they're still a little hesitant early on. He didn't show any of that. Yeah. So that's a really good sign for him going forward. Aggressive, uh, got him out yeah. of there. And then Comain, Amanda Serrano. She's Amanda. Bad. Amanda looks nice. She's bad. She's got the old school fighter swag with the rhythm. She comes in with a little mm -hmm. dip she does. Look like, like you said, look like she might have some Concord Jordans some, on. Some Concord Jordan 11s on, the high socks, the Camacho trunks. She said yeah. she likes to fight in tennis shoes. Yeah. I wonder if she those was, were the Concords. They look like it. She they was, were Jordans. Yeah. They were, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the, yeah, they're yeah, the yeah. Concords for yeah, sure, I think. Yeah. She, she, uh, I don't know the names of them. I can buy them. She walked. I can't. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't buy I can't afford oh, yeah. You know the Concords. I'm Shout cheap. To Starbury. I, I had one pair of Jordans. I said, never again. Shout out to Starbury. Send us all 10 pairs for 80 bucks. <laughs> the shacks. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, no, she, uh, she, she walked her down and, and like, uh, her trainer Jordan was a little excessive afterwards, but I love it. But Mercado is a Mexican fighter, and he said we backed her up, like we turned her into a you know boxer. She had to back up because Serrano was coming in body shots. She was working the body. Sixty five body shots landed. I don't. I don't. Um, you know Taylor and um, and Shields are considered the other two greats along with mm -hmm. her in the sport right now. And Clarissa is the best female fighter I ever seen. She's the quote. But that being said, I've never seen a woman fighter inflict the kind of punishment Amanda does. Mm -hmm. When you see uh, Mercado's eye at the end of the fight, yeah. like, you just don't see that kind of punishment in women's boxing and the kind of knockout like she got she a razor gets. blade across the cheek. <laughs> right, and and you know, got Shields and, 50. Yeah. and Serrano, they still bah, 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 beautiful speed and combinations, but this girl digs and digs and digs and punishes her opponent. Yeah. She's special, you know, mm -hmm. she's special. Especially for those two round, two minute rounds. Right. There's another thing that we kind of mentioned where she's able to do a lot of work, yeah. Do yeah. do a lot of work in two minutes. Yeah. What, how do we like her against Taylor? I think she wins, but she her defense. It's gonna be a good fight. She, she is taking more punches as she's getting older. Yeah. Because her whole thing is, uh, she likes to get you in range to to open up, yeah. and then that's when she slips with the counters, and the, it's just beautiful to to see someone be aggressive while countering. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's and you're a noted yeah. Amanda Serrano fan. What would you think of the performance this evening? She looked good. Um, I, I know that the the telecast said that she had planned to steal a show, and I think for six rounds, I was like, eh, if you're gonna steal a show, not like this. But then 
she really did finish strong. Was it ten rounds? She did it. Yep. Yeah. When she, did, I thought that she really finished strong, and near the end, I was like, "All right, you actually could be selling the show here." Yep. You know what I mean? So she knows how to turn it on. She knows how to maneuver her opponents and, and get them in in the positions that she wants them to be in. Uh, I disagree with uh, with her coach Jordan. I felt like coming out to the ring. I felt like Mercado's uh, uh, game plan, excuse me, strategy was to was to use the ring, was to try to box Serrano. I don't think that that was something that Serrano really forced, forced her to do. And if it if she forced her to it, she I mean she planned according to what Serrano does. Serrano yeah. is in your face. Serrano's going to cut off the ring and she's going to find you yeah. like Jason and cut you down. You yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like Mercado was just prepared to do to do what she needed to do to defend that. Um, but Mercado didn't really put up much resistance or much of a fight. But uh, on the other side of that, Serrano just continues to do what she does. Yeah. Um, she's just a fighter. Uh, yeah, she's just a fighter, man. Yeah. I, I really would love to see her you know, get get after Katie Taylor and let's see how that fight goes. Yeah. And then um, you know, I she's what, like a six six division world seven, champion. Seven, seven. Seven division world champion. That's crazy. So you know, I just I feel like everybody so here's my thing and I kinda really I learned this lesson myself from watching the Kings is that we all have our own legacies and depending on what your legacy is, you can't allow whatever someone else is doing or did affect your legacy. Obviously there's things you can pull from. Sure. But I'm I'm not going Blaze to have yeah. I'm not about to have or even attempt to have an eight division yeah. career like like Manny off Pacquiao. To a slow start if that's off the to case. a slow ass start. <laughs> you know, but in saying that, I don't know what Amanda Serrano's what she wants her legacy to be, but if you're comparing it to someone like Manny Pacquiao, you're almost there. Yeah. If not, you are. You know what I mean? So I just don't know what's beyond and she's Katie. Pu she's pushing Taylor for, for the most knockouts ever for a female fighter. Chrissy Martin has that. Um, yeah, she she's great. I mean, the only even slight criticism she didn't stop the opponent tonight, but like, yeah, oh, she we, needs a Taylor fight though. Yeah, yeah, I would love uh, I would love to see. Yeah, it. how do y'all feel about Taylor fight? You think we can do main event on it? I I would love overseas. to see that on the main event. Yeah. Overseas, whether it's in over Ireland, yeah, yeah in over Ireland, in the UK, I somewhere. Yeah, Absolutely. they love her in Ireland. Yeah. Katie yeah. Taylor. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would love that. And Katie Taylor fights this weekend. We'll get to that. But uh, main event showdown of the century. They say Luke Corrales, Castillo. biggest fight ever, biggest yeah. fight since Floyd uh, Pacquiao, biggest fight since Floyd Logan Paul, according uh, to the uh, broadcast uh, today. Yeah, you're right. But, you're right. Um, it, let's open up. Any any opening. Generalizations on the fight. Uh, anytime I watch Paul, I want to see somebody get knocked out, whether it's him or somebody else. I'm not really in this for a uh, split decision. I'm in this for knockouts. So, so I would have loved. I I predicted he would knock him out. Knock uh, Paul would knock Willie out. Yeah, but I'm just not here for decisions. I'm here. For, I'm here. One. I want to be entertained, baby. Surprised by the split decision at all? Yeah, that was crazy for sure. Yeah, yeah kids in his hometown. It's yeah, still I think we all. Yeah. Well, I think we all thought unanimous yeah. decision for Paul. Come before I came in here, TV said 20, 20, 58 percent on Twitter felt like Woodley won that fight. Yeah, and I disagree. Yeah, no disrespect. Twitter nailed the Rigandau fight. This one, I, I have to disagree <laughs> with. But, and the um, Rigandau fight might have been better than this one. Yeah, you know, yeah, that was. Uh, Twitter don't know shit about boxing. Sound like it. Nah, they know the Rigandau. Oh, okay. The, the, the uh, you sound like you just agreeing with. Oh, I'm in, oh, with the Rigandau. They whatever they said, agreeing with him. I was with it, but uh, yeah, I, I think. I don't, it didn't validate Jake Paul as a boxer to me. Like, that was kind of one of the questions. Like, yeah. and I was like, I kind of thought he was a boxer before. Not like, he's not a championship boxer. You got to separate it. He's yeah, like, right. got to separate it. That, I, think, I think the easiest way you, we mentioned it and we mentioned it on the show is he's, was he 5 and 0 oh now? 4 3 4 0. Oh. Oh. 3 knockouts. Like, find me a, a you know, 4 0 oh fighter on, on any network. And, and picking in, and it's like, He's a fighter that has less than a handful of fights. Right. Like, you never see that. It's very easy to, yeah. I, in my opinion, just look at it that way. Yeah. He's uh, uh, he's on a main event, which, you know, kind of makes it a little trickier. But, like, he's he's got four wins. He, wor he worked the system. Yeah. But it, it just illustrates, it, 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 you know, you're not wrong. It just kind of illustrates what Larry Merchant used to say, though. He says, this isn't golf where the best guy gets the most money. It just don't always work yeah. like that in boxing. It's it's, just, you know. The market dictates your value. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, if they're going to pay Jake Paul whatever billions to fight and he's going to be on the main event and people are going to tune in like people were tuned in today. Yeah. I'm not comparing it. I'm just using it as an analogy. Yeah. But 
we're we're the N one era. We didn't hate on N one, but there was a separation. RP Escalade. Couple of people from N one got into the NBA, but for the most Ray part, for Austin. Yeah, it was yeah. for the most part, it was street ball and it was the NBA. Yeah. This is the street ball of boxing. Y'all got to understand. <laughs> That's you, cause, comparison. Because you have to understand that you're not going to see Jake Paul fight a true boxer. Get over it. Yeah. yeah. But understand that he has brought an audience to the world of boxing, especially where he said as his, at making his exit out of the ring. I was impressed with that more than more than I was impressed with anything. I was impressed with it. No, I wasn't impressed with anything that he did tonight, but it. It was it was what it was, you know. Yeah. I I said Willie's gonna knock him out, and for about four rounds, I was like Willie's gonna get him. And then near the end of the fight, I was like, well, if Willie turns it on in this last round, he'll get him. It never happened. Yeah, it is what it is. I get what you're saying. We need to see some knockouts. If you're gonna be in one, if yeah. you're gonna be street ball or boxing, you like throw the basketball bring, off somebody's face, yeah. bring the real entertainment. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's the one thing. Like we're paying for it, so give us the entertainment that we want. Uh, we didn't get the entertainment that we wanted overall tonight, in yeah. my in my opinion. Yeah. But it still was relatively a decent card, and I thought that those guys here and there they kind of did what we expected them to do. You know what I mean? You know, um, maybe tonight was a very deep undercard fight of two of a guy making his professional debut and a guy that this is his fourth fight. Yeah, like the other ones, like he gets these big knockouts. Which you kind of see that you had these big knockouts to start your career, mm -hmm. and then at some point you didn't get a knockout. Yeah. At some point you went the distance, and yeah. it kind of goes from there. Yeah. So, do you, I guess to to you directly, the complaint or the issue is that it, it's diluting boxing, that it's taken away that anyone you know any Joe Schmo can just go out there and fight. What does it? Do you feel any of that like animosity towards the situation, or is it just kind of like do your thing? When I turn pro. My dad took me to get my license. We went to the Ohio, the Cleveland. We went to Cleveland to the Ohio Athletic Commission and signed paperwork and got my my license, my boxing license. And it was at that moment. I I don't know if I asked my dad or asked somebody there or something like that. I literally at that moment said, "Anybody can do this." And they said they were trying to answer the question, but yeah. answer it in a way that it, that made sense to me. But yeah. What I only understood was that anybody could do that. And with that being said, I understood at that moment when I was turning pro that this could happen at some point. Yeah. This is something that boxing has brought on itself. Uh, something that we can't be mad at because at the end of the day, we get paid to hurt people. Yeah. And it's people that get put in jail for doing this on the streets. And in order for you not to get put in jail for doing this on the streets, you go to your athletic commission in your state and you do exactly what these guys are doing right now. So with that being said, I understood it back then and I accepted it back then. I was mad back then, yeah. very mad back yeah. then. And it took me a long time to accept it, but it wasn't, I accepted it well, well before this. I accepted it when I started to understand that there are guys who are, um, kind of necessary for the sport, guys who can't hurt, can't 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 be the fighter, but are basically there to uh, build the fighter's records and things yeah. like that. So it's kind of it's just a part of the business, and so um, at some capacity, I kind of understood that this was going to come eventually, and it has arrived. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, I don't feel like this dilutes the sport. The reason why I don't feel like it did lose the sport is because, again, I look at it and separate it from the actual fighting. Now, because they're fighting on Showtime, the separation now has to be with in, internally. Like we yeah. all have to understand what we're watching, but it's up to us to make the viewers oh, understand. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make the viewers understand that even though you're watching this, it's not bad to watch this, but there's something that's a little better. And and if you take a look at that, you may be, you may grow more interest yeah. in that. You know. Let me, let me ask you this because this is another main storyline regarding this. Is yeah, and you kind of touched on it. Is boxing to blame for this? Because that's been a common thing where people are like, "Well, that's what boxing gets. We don't get these mega fights, and now we get Jake Paul." Yeah. I personally don't see the correlation. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't see how that. Like, there is no correlation. I don't see how Errol Spence not fighting Terrence Crawford tomorrow somehow yeah. is like. Because oh, this Jake didn't Paul. replace it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, like it's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, to, I think the street ball analogy is a good call. It's, yeah. it's two different things. I yeah. know I'm seeing two different things. Yeah. 
same sport. But do you think boxing is to blame at all for it? Um, or is it just kind of a thing that was going to happen one way or the other? I think it's kind of it's the thing that was going to happen one way or another. And I think I don't know if we touched on this on the show, but like I will go ahead and say it now. Why aren't they picking a different sport? Why aren't they picking basketball or football? Boxing is easier to get into. Yeah, just the like entry you explain. level. But even beyond that, boxing has elements that all of these other sports don't have. The build up. You got the build up. You said it while we were watching the fight. Man, boxing will test your spirit. It will show. It will tell you who you are in right. the moment. There's no way for you to truly figure out who you are as a person than getting in the ring and fighting someone else. Yeah. And I don't mean like as a person, am I a nice guy or, you know, am I, am I mad enough? Do I, do I fight hard or whatever? There's, there's things that boxing will test that no other sport can test. And, the, and majority of the sports, number one, you got timeouts. Number two, you got tag, you're in, I'm out. You know what I mean? There's a sidelines. There's no sidelines in boxing, you know? So boxing is just, I think, is the epitome of competition. And I think that that's why these guys have chosen boxing to 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 test their might, as they say in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, as they, as they say in Mortal Kombat, to test your might. You can't test your might in football because... Even if you want to go up against Deion Sanders in a one-on-one, y'all going to run one route, yeah. catch it, or or he bat it down. Y'all going to laugh about there's it. There's 10 other and, people on your side. start over. Ten other people on their side. It's just boxing is really is the pinnacle in terms of uh, in terms of competition, in terms of um, bringing out whatever's inside of you, uh, uh, rendering your other po- opponent helpless. You know what I mean? This It's the only sport where you can bet uh, tattoo, you know what I mean? Like you're not gonna see uh, uh, OBJ bet. Um, who's who's the top uh, D- Ex- DB Xavier out there? Woods. Uh, Xavier Woods. Or, or, or no, 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 Xavier you know, Rhodes. Xavier yeah, Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes. Yeah. Like they're not gonna make some yeah. sideline bets because you might may not never see it. You know yeah. what I mean? The game plan may maybe it's, it's for, something that's settled. It's settled one right one. there in the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that that's, that's why, why it's he's the greatest he, sport in the world. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's the OG. It's the original. That's, that's how countries are built. Countries are destroyed. Yeah. Fighting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, it's less dangerous than in the grand sense than UFC. Like I think somebody's like why aren't they doing MMA? It's like, yeah, you really get like you could really get yeah. the shit kicked out. You know, why? Like, why aren't they doing UFC? You know, what it I mean, hurts well, worse. I would, I would have to assume. <laughs> why aren't they doing MMA? I don't think we can call it UFC. Yeah, well, I think I think mm-hmm. Jake Paul mentioned he, and also and has a I wrestling background. Too. Yeah, has I know yeah. they? I think they both wrestled. I know they play yeah. football as well. Um, but also I think he he mentioned he respects boxing. Like yeah. he was like something I enjoy watching. Something I just enjoy. And if we'll, anything, give him a shout out. He's been he's helping these fighters. Like he said, they got the biggest paydays of their career. Yeah. All these guys, all these yeah. fighters, Miranda Serrano's on the co main. Yeah. On pay per view. And so when he like, fights he, these these MMA fighters, he considers himself part of the boxing brotherhood, yeah. representing as he takes them on. He embraces that you're yeah, this is MMA versus boxing, and mm-hmm. I'm with boxing. And yeah. So, you know, as a boxing guy, I, I, uh, that kind of endears him a little bit. It's a good move, but mm-hmm. he um you know, back to what you said about the human spirit. That's what made the fight have some drama. He goes back to his corner for the fifth round. You see it in his eyes. He's, he's this is the first time I'm in this. Mm-hmm. And he's finding out in that moment what he's made of. And that's always so compelling yeah. in boxing. And, yeah. and what you guys said, you know, I, I, I basically, I, I ordered this fight to watch this guy talk some shit and mm-hmm. get a knockout and yeah. talk some shit after. Yeah. That's his real shtick. I don't mm-hmm. pay to see your jab. If I want to see good boxers, I'll watch world title fight yeah. and so it'll be interesting to see how he goes about this because heading into this fight his uh his fan base has gotten you, you know I, I gotta look into it but i just from the outside looking in it looks like he's not marketing as much to the the kid base the the base that made him famous yeah. so i'm interested to see well if you're just going full-on fighter you're not doing the social media stuff as much you're not you're not you're not going for the child audience yeah. let's see how this all works out for you because yeah. i'm not so sure uh, the adult boxing fan base yeah. is going to take to you those way no, those Disney yeah, kids do. They won't. So we'll see. And now after this fight, just like the situation with his fan base, it's 
you know, where do you go from here? Because now, now you're starting to fight some real fighters. Yeah. You know, he was in a real fight tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll we'll just see. We'll just see where he goes. And 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 to his credit, he yeah. shows some heart tonight. Yeah. You know? And is there at, is there some stupid gimmicks, some silly gimmicks? Of of course. You gotta get the Conor McGregor fight. That's yeah. the fight. Yeah. But he also if is, you get the tattoo. Our rematch. rematch. That was hot. Yeah. Easy, bit. Somebody, yeah, he, somebody he raised said, their hand. Tattoo tonight. <laughs> tattoo tonight. Yeah. So, so a lot of people don't know this. He cannot fight. He cannot fight Conor McGregor without Dana White approval. When you sign contracts, you know UFC contracts are effed up. The Sean should not be making more money than some of the UFC champions. Whoa, you're my guy, but I hate to say it. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that was no, 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 no. But I'm saying, like, they're more, saying. more well, the, well known than you. The, the ceiling, like, is, the top guy yeah. ain't touching you in money. It's yeah. cr that's crazy. Yeah, that, like, Dana them. White is kind of effed up the way he pays these people. But uh, yeah, it, contract wise, he, you're not allowed to just fight like that. When he fought Floyd. The UFC got a big cut of that. Of course. So that's the same thing. Why he just can't make this. That's why it's taking so yeah. long to try to make yeah. this fight. Yeah, I think the big thing with him, like I said, there's gimmicks, there's stupid stuff, there's stuff where I'm like, yeah, this, this, like, kind of like you said, it's not for me. Like, this is not for boxing fans. It's not for just an adult. Not even uh, like you're hating. It's just, yeah, like, it's just, it's I'm not, not, for not me. that interested. You know, like, different yeah. strokes. But, but to be, to me, he takes it very seriously. He, wasn't BSing in the ring tonight. He was fighting. He was boxing. Mm -hmm. He seems to train very seriously. Yep. He so if any like if, if somebody's very critical of him and they're looking for something to be like, you know, he takes it seriously. He could. I mean, we've seen Broner do a lot stupider <laughs> things in the ring than right. Jake Paul did. But right, yeah. Um, when when I'm saying something negative about yeah, Jake yeah. Paul, and it's, which I never really say, but if I yeah. am, I'm talking relative to someone like Sean, a yeah, world champion. I, yeah, yeah. I can't put him in it. I, I can't take him serious because it's not boxing. I'm yeah. here for the entertainment. That's it. This is not boxing. But he'll he'll whoop all the people who think they could just walk in a box. I know, but he, yeah, yeah. Because I, I say just throw him in there with Bobby he would, Jack. He would somebody knock, he like would that. Knock, he would knock me out in I, less than a round. I yeah, think bottom talking. line, he needs to either go back to Triller or Showtime needs to step it up. Yeah, because this this when you go see the Globe Trotters, you know what you're paying for. You're not about to see. I hated the some, Globe Trotters, but you're not about to see but three pointer after three yeah. pointer after yeah. three pointer after three. You're not about to see them. You're set not up, seeing fundamentals. You're, not, you're about to see them set up play. Exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? Funny. Yeah. Swing the ball. You mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. That's why I hated the Globe Trotters. I was like, I was probably like a teenager when I went, so I wasn't a kid. And I'm a huge basketball fan, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, there's obviously spurts where it's basketball, and I'm like, how do you? You hate the, how do you no, but, the but I'm He's like, different. No, but you know how he is. So I'm like, so I, so He's I, like th this is his spurt. You know, he go every, every, game, but I'm every looking, episode. And, I, and I'm like, they're obviously spurts where they're playing basketball. I'm like, okay, this is, they're very talented basketball players. A million times better than me. And then all of a sudden, somebody throws a confetti bucket. Or like, <laughs> and so I'm waiting for mean, actual basketball. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what is this? All of a sudden, <laughs> somebody pulls a tripwire. It it's like, like, it's like a hell? random timeout, but like, it's still yeah, like the, yeah. the show is going climbs on. Somebody yeah. climbs the basket and dunks it from above. So I'm like, so kind of like what you were saying. It's like, yeah, I, you, you, we watched this because it was a circus. Mm -hmm. To be fair, though, the crowd was rocking. Yeah. Shout out to Cleveland, of course. But as I tell you, you mentioned it felt like a fight. It, it felt like a big fight. Like, but what I'm saying is, in order to please your fans, yeah. young fans, because you, you're, if he's fighting, to, if you're fighting to get the older crowd, boxing is a mature crowd. Yeah. If you're fighting to get older, that's never going to happen. So let it go. And boxers, regular people tell, like, uh, fans always say, I'm not here to watch a Floyd 12 round just boxing fast. I want to see somebody get knocked out. Nobody wants to see what they seen tonight. Let it go. You're not going to win over the, 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 the the diehard boxing fans. What you do have is your audience. Continue to play to your audience. Go to Triller. Go to go to Showtime. Step it up. Start doing some different things with your production and making it entertaining and making it a show. Tonight was a boxing card. Right. But at the end of the day, those people, a lot of people that are watching don't really understand what they're watching. So, again, you got to appreciate these guys for bringing that audience yeah. to boxing. Of course. But then you still have to play to that audience because that audience will get restless and then go felt, back to something I felt like else. Showtime took it too serious. I feel like Showtime made it more of a boxing show and I didn't I'm I'm still I'm really not entertained by these guys in general. I'm try try not to get myself like yeah. I don't want to mm -hmm. get involved with all that but I don't I don't get too much entertainment from them in general and so Meaning the Paul brothers. The Paul brothers. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so tonight to see him, you know, I I I appreciated the fight. Um, I, I I don't know. Like I'm I'm looking for more of a globe trotter, more of yeah. an N one type of 
night. I'm telling you, you that, I mean? that Globe Chargers game, I was like, <laughs> all right, all right, cool. It's a, it's a two point game. Then all yeah. of a sudden, somebody gets punched by a big box. Going, all right, yeah. <laughs> me, so like, like for me, at the end of the night, when they the whole like tattoo thing, you were like, oh, see, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was like, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you need you stuff know? like you that. Need yeah, flying the what was the the propeller the fan guy? man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need so something I, like that. I, yeah. I say we need them to offer stuff. The, the nonsense, the BS. Oh, I need to see you get flatlined like Manny Pacquiao got flatlined against Marquez. Sheesh. Or like you need to take like this Nate serious. Robinson I'll play a right line against uh, uh, Big Paul. No, I'm talking about real boxing. I want oh, okay. somebody. You gonna decide? You want just to yeah, play him out. Yeah. Do you want? Do I really want to do this? Yeah. Do I really want to do this? Do I want to be in a coma for ten minutes like Manny was? And and somebody to that point, somebody has to do it. So like one of the one of these fighters that gets in the ring with him. You have to do it, like, and I mean a boxer, because oh, I don't. None, he hasn't fought no boxers. Like I'm like, none I'm, of these guys are boxers, so let's stop saying that. And I'm like, Willie just looks in shape. Saying like, yeah, I'm like, we'll go. He's not a boxer. Yeah, no, hey, well, he's like, not a boxer. Like, we'll go. His right hand was beautiful. The yeah. the few times that he fired it out, I mean, it came from the hip. Mm -hmm. He was the, shooting it. Yeah, and I was like, you can't like. I mean, it's almost like you got the Marcellus Wallace call. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that he is. was talking to me about that. I was like. Who's Marcellus? That sounds so familiar. <laughs> Paul Fix, you go in the fifth yeah. round, you go down. Yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, it happens in boxing, but tonight especially, I'm like, you can't keep saying like, you didn't hurt me. Yeah. And then not come forward. Like he's walking forward, but you're not really throwing. But yeah, yeah I, I agree with what you're saying. If somebody like, if you want to be a boxer, get in there with a boxer. If you win, mm -hmm. we all have to tip our cap to him and say, hey, you did it. We didn't think you could do it, but you did. I thought, um, I thought the, the his the post fight. Uh, interview was a little weird. Yeah, I think he gave people like too much information. I felt like it was you know like a mean? motivational Monday. I appreciated that at the yeah. end, talking about the bullying yeah, and yeah, how kids. Uh, let's shout out his his organization, Boxing Bullying. Yeah, and um, I want to shout that out because that's that's necessary. I mm -hmm. appreciated him doing that at the end of the fight. He understands his platform and he understands what he's trying to do with his platform, but. I mean, he said, hey, what's what's next for you? Just say, y'all, you know, I'm going to get some rest, take some time and, and and figure it out. You know, he went all into he's been going through some things and my legs felt weird tonight. I don't know what that was about. And, you know, just a little bit too much. You know what I mean? And I, I think I told you guys before, my dad said sometimes you shouldn't you should just not interview a fighter after right. a match right. because he's liable to say anything. And, you know, and I so. think it's tough. Like I, I go back to Ariel Hawani, who I think did a great job. But I don't know. I don't know what angle you take there. Cause like we mentioned, it's not like, it's not something where you can be like, oh, well, you're now you've moved up to number two in the WBC. Who would you like this title fight? Like he's four and oh. So it's tough to be like, hey, who would you like to fight? Like, what if somebody after you win, you know, your fourth fight, you know, wherever you're at, Mississippi, and they're, oh, like, wow. and they're, like, they're like, hey, you know, who would you like next? You're gonna yeah. be like, uh, Steve Johnson. I 100 Yeah. Like, yeah, so it, it, I guess it's tough trying to dictate that. that yeah, that too. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but. so again, like you know, you got to figure out other ways to play it because yeah. you can't play it so boxing. Maybe just go full WWE at that. Yeah, point. yeah. that basically that's what we need. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah don't, don't, don't take this dude <laughs> serious at all. Yeah. Just we entertainment purposes. This yeah. is don't try to get serious. Say, oh yeah, maybe I want to be in the top ten in WBA because you know they would do something easy, like yeah, that. Easy WBA, they got yeah, you. you know um, Boxingbullies.com. Go there, you can join the fight. I really did appreciate Jake Paul doing that at the end of the, you know, of the show. You know, we found out this weekend, and Zytel. Actually, let me ask you this, because like we say, you're the boxing guru. Thanks, guys. Do you know, did you know Sean? I got, a, uh, I got a guru coming. Sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. Got a guru coming. Y'all going to have a guru off. Yeah, y'all going to have a guru I'm off. I'm not on my points the, the, like I was 10 years ago. The loser ago. gets <laughs> Portaway podcast tattooed on their butt cheeks. What's, oh, oh red on the cheeks. What's, what's this? Who, so, who, who, who am I going up against? Iceman. Nice. You're not going John to Paul, Paul, Paul yeah. Wall? John is the man. You might, you might want to pick John. John is the man. Nah, it's, it's, it should be a lot of fun. It I'm going, be a lot I'm of going fun to hear y'all talk. I'm about to get replaced. Did you know that <laughs> Sean Porter has a, has a shared opponent with Canelo Alvarez? Who is it? Uh, Do you consider that a opponent? Lydell Rhodes? Yeah. Or, uh, no, they fought. Lydell Rhodes? No, no, no. no, no, no. You're, uh, you're thinking of... If he, if he I know, know it, I'm, I'm leaving. Yeah, it's it. You're not not Tyner. Not Leonardo that's what I was thinking. That's thinking. That's I, was thinking. Not, 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 I didn't have to look it up, by the way. Yeah. I had heard it once, yeah. though. Raul Pinzon. Oh, you shouldn't have. Wow. He wasn't. I don't think it was. Both no, of, no both, I was never going to get Both of them 
stopped him in the first round. Hope Raul was doing well. But did but, Sean stop him in like one minute, 20 no, seconds? Canelo, and beat Canelo, him. Canelo had him a, but a, a little. He was young. Okay, but he's Canelo. a middleweight champ. He's a light heavyweight yeah. now, so we don't, <laughs> to we be don't fair, worry about that. He fought Sean well <laughs> over the <laughs> contracted weight. But the. Uh, right. Yeah, no, that. And then. We can wrap it up, touch on another. You can run it with Sean now, but take him yeah. out in two seconds. Shout yeah. out to SMF. <laughs> yeah. Styles make fights. Check them out. Yeah. Check our gear. We got gear coming. We got gear coming. Yeah. They did uh, Tyron Woodley's uh, gear at the end yeah. of the fight. That was smooth. Absolutely. Um, and uh, at the end of the fight. No. They did Tyron Woodley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did his gear for the fight. Yeah. It was smooth. Uh, continue to look out for them. Any fighters out there, y'all looking for some gear? They will hook you up, do Absolutely. whatever you want. And, um, you know, that's that's it for them. Yeah. And then we got uh, just one main card this week, Leeds, um, The Zone. We got Granados finally fighting Conor Ben after that was delayed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Where's that fight at? That is in Leeds, England. Shout out to Leeds, you know, yeah. Marcelo Bielsa. Um, but the, uh, yeah, Ebony Bridge is also back. She fought like quick. Feels like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, that is next week. Yeah, huh? she's yeah. back um, after that eye swelled up. And yeah, she's just getting right back in there. And then she fought. Tough yeah, girl. Um, Mauricio Lara Warrington is the main event. They fought previously, and Lara scored. A, some people were saying the upset of the year when it happened, mm -hmm. and uh, so that their rematch in there. And then uh, Katie Taylor, who we mentioned, is fighting. Um, Eddie Hearn, I think, indicated she will fight. This fight and then fight one more mandatory maybe mandatory towards the end of yeah exactly mandatory <laughs> towards the end of the year and then and then he said well maybe I'm open to whatever but um, yeah no it should be a good card you said you know English yeah. accent yeah, yeah it was on the money. mandatory this yeah. is my dude because he's not afraid to do an accent yeah he'll or, throw it out there or and or, or, or it's an good impression and it's at all very rarely yeah it, uh, offensive yeah he'll do it he'll do an impression in the heartbeat yeah. I dig it I learned it from your boy Kel Brook. He's during the, the Errol Spence, right no, the, during the Golovkin thing, he's like, ah, you know, fought, fight Golovkin or got me mandatory, me mandatory, me mandatory. <laughs> and and you're for like, two years, I like, what is a mandatory? Years, mandatory. They, have, they have mandatories <laughs> so, over in England, uh, over in Sheffield. I think this will be a, a fight card that is one of those where like the zone cards last for an eternity. I think this will be one that keeps you entertained for, mm -hmm. for most of it because mm -hmm. you have bridges early. We, we think Ben, are we guessing stoppage against Granados across the yeah. board? Yes. Yeah, he's explosive. And, yeah. Yes. He's explosive. Hopefully he, I think the, maybe the thing that I'll be interested in most is how he recovers. He had COVID, so, and I know he dealt with it. They mentioned for a few days he had symptoms, so we'll see if he mm. has his wind and everything because we've seen, I mean, Jamal Herring mentioned he kind of struggled with mm -hmm. it, but. Not against Carl Frampton, he didn't. No, surely <laughs> not. Yeah, surely not in that fight. But yeah, Katie Taylor, I assume will get the win. Connor Ben, I think, gets a stoppage. That's um, their guy. Yeah, in, in the UK, you know, yeah. Brooke and Khan are are on their way out. So that in the, in the welterweight division, that's that's their man. Yeah. That's their guy. They got to put their flag to. Coming for you next. That's the guy they're yeah. sending to get Sean again. <laughs> yeah, the UK. <laughs> they're, they're, Come like, on, they're, they're like, they're like, they're like, well, they're like, well, it worked once. <laughs> Let's send them over there. Why <laughs> said again? Yeah. Oh, you caught that? Yeah. Our, oh, my bad. That's yeah, disrespectful. Worked work, work the first time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean, chocolate brownie he right hands all day. Yeah, then. Laura, if you didn't watch Laura Warrington won, it was a very entertaining fight. And again, big upset. So we'll see if they uh, see if it goes the same. And shout out to Warrington who's getting back in there with a the guy who beat him. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is always a good time. But he was getting built up to fight Shakur a little bit. And yeah. That just never happened because it's boxing. And yeah, usually boxing, happen. boxing does as boxing does. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And what this week, the, the Porter Boy podcast will be on the road. Yeah, yeah. We'll both be on the we'll road. Be, oh, I'm going on the road. I'll be damned. Both yeah. of you? Yeah, I'm going on the road. We're going on the road, baby. We're together? taking this on. Or, or yeah, kind of. No, nah, nah. we're going to be together. <laughs> Not going also, to I do like going on trips with this dude. I, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I shot it down so so hard like right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah, that was a little, a little aggressive. Also, uh, I, 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 yeah, I'm not OCD, but I kind of I make sure everybody gonna have fun. I'm everybody gonna eat, have fun, and have be comfortable. That's important. Yeah, those, those are those are three important traits of a trip: <laughs> eat well, be comfortable, and have a good time. Biggie but, wants to go to the marshes. Okay, I was just hearing about that yesterday in Cleveland or back oh. home. Yeah, mm -hmm. he 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 he's been on this kick about marshes and. Uh, I thought you said Martians. To be fair, no. Like, then Martians is like, like, Marvin? like Marvin? I know what you're talking about. Like rivers and stuff. Yeah, like, kind of like swamps. Yeah, oh. Swamps. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's where we're going. Yeah. yeah. We got and, a beach. Uh, we got a beach house on the. Way. I said, Diggy, you want to go to the swamps? So 
we gonna ah we we not gonna go deep, but we gonna I try hope, to figure. Something I hope out. everyone enjoyed their enjoyed their time in, in Cleveland this week. Back back home, yeah. Hope they got some good food. Enjoyed it. Arena looked great. Crowd was rocking. Um, also, before we go, closing it out. It's a big week. Uh, Thursday, tune into Facebook. All right, really? We're, we're going to pretend like nothing's happening? I'm not even on Facebook. There's oh. this purse bit going Yeah, there's a purse oh. bit. Oh, hey, 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 I know. Is, is that crazy or not? Like, is that has that ever happened before? Have they broadcasted no, that, a, To my like, knowledge, this is one of the, this is maybe the first or is one of the first. Also, there was some hype with T.O. a couple months ago on his purse bit, but not televised. I mean, not. Let's, yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. I didn't know it was live. That's like, not, thought... not going to be riveting entertainment by any stretch of the imagination. But you're going to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I'll be interested <laughs> in the result for sure. But like, that's this is not like hey, why have a feeling Eddie gonna get up in here and make this? I fun? hope so, man. I hope, oh, Betty, hey, he's gonna try. I hope he throws his hat to do it. Hey, he just throw up in there. He just throw a hundred million yeah. in there. Hundred million in I there. I hope he gets in. Hey, hey Port Away Podcast gonna blow up. Sean, <laughs> Sean, what do you do if it's like twelve million? No, fifteen million. No, fifty million. Are you gonna be like? You can't. This is, the, hey, this is great. Like, hey, he'll pass out. He can't I can't see it. I don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> I know. I actually worked uh, for somebody for a second that did auctions. And it was cool to hear him do his thing, but it, it really, it's not like on TV. And I don't, yeah, I don't think this is going to be one of the, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it's going to be a slow process. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to last long. I think it's going to be relatively quick. Think about it. Everybody knows everybody in boxing. Yeah. If I can call you and tell you that I'm bidding on this fight and, and this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to... Yeah. I just don't think it's going to be entertaining. I think it's going to be cut and dry. I could be dead wrong. Yeah. I didn't even know it was Thursday. I did know. I'm not going to front. I did know that it was live on Facebook. Yeah. I was like, that's that's. I don't know if that's yeah. ever happened before. Well, but beyond that, I didn't know it was going to happen on Thursday. So I'm most excited to be done with people saying that one of you is going to back out of the fight. That That is... People that, have been saying that. For both of you, yeah, is he the Terrence? Yeah, it's crazy. And, I, and and certain people will break it down. They're like, yeah, it doesn't make sense for either of them. Like for Bud to get out of it, he has to vacate his belt. For Sean to get out of it, he's a chicken shit forever. <laughs> so <laughs> and really, that's a fact. Like like it just for, for, in order any for me sense. to get out of it, yeah. like so this purse bit happens. Whenever it happens, then we can be like, hey, right. see, that's how nobody, I felt about yeah, it. nobody's scared. Yeah, nobody's backing out of it. Yeah, but that's how I felt about and it. And then it'll be it happen when it happens. Yeah, and then it'll be go time. And then we'll be able to talk. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we'll be able to talk every yeah. week. We're gonna break down a round. Yeah. So Don Crawford King's thing. gonna come out of nowhere with the mystery. That'd be crazy. Cleveland native. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Bring, and bring it back home. Nah, look, you see what they can do look, tonight. Look, they you see what they can do look, tonight. They, they try to get I'm me trying going. to think of, is there like a mystery bidder that could just be like a hilarious person just to jump in? Floyd, and Floyd technically is a uh, promoter. Technically? Yeah, TMT. I'm crazy. trying to think of somebody who just like to jump in there. I love my boy Luda come out of blue. I have a promotional Luda, company. No, Luda Bella. <laughs> That's what Luda Chris. I was like, I'm down for ludicrous. What about Jay Z? He still got his. Do he still got his license? Oh, Rock Nation. That let, all right. Let, that, look, 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 look. That is the one we want. I want the mystery bitter. Just to, you hear Jay Z just come on there, y'all little. Hey, if I ain't gonna lie, reintroduce myself. If I had a billion dollars, I'll play around with it. I f it up. Hey, just for fun. I want yeah, to see just this fight. Just, yeah, just for fun. Yeah, yeah, I want to see this fight. Imagine I'll live on a Facebook stream and you just hear, "Allow me to reintroduce myself," <laughs> and then a bid just drops in there. You'll, you'll be go and get my checkbook. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. that's what we're doing now. Is no okay, that's what y'all doing. After the impression, Jay Z is no longer bidding on the fight. Yo, <laughs> it, it wasn't bad. It ain't that bad. wasn't terrible. We it in here. <laughs> it's gonna be now. It's gonna be Nas that jumps in there, but. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, so, you want to go to war? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, start the music. Yeah. Hey, hey, nah. hey, man, right, what I'm a, done. Hey, we're praying for my uh, home state, you know, Louisiana. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all you know, should be good by the time it's come out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, chill out. No, no, chill out. Nope. Keep leaning in. I called my brother. He lives in. Lafayette, Louisiana, I ain't going to say exactly where he lives because this is going to make fun of me. The Raging Cajuns? Yeah, yeah, he live out there. I called him this morning, worried about him. I said, man, how you doing? He said, I'm just playing Xbox. Called another day. I said, what you going to be doing this weekend? He said, I probably going to go fish for the hurricane comes. So that's Louisiana people. <laughs> they not worried about this. They yeah. built different down there. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully everyone is good down yeah, but, there. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah they, I'm praying for Are they bunked? Up. Oh yeah, yeah, we we down there a little. <laughs> down there. <laughs> All right. hey, hey, start the music. There, there's no limit to the courage of Louisiana. Huh? No limit. 
Ah, Moose Dog. Shout out to Master P. Oh, yeah, don't know. Oh, yeah, away. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, my guy. God bless you. Hey, I'll be in Florida Happy this week. Happy birthday. Where you will be? I'll Happy be back home. Okay. I'll be here. Getting my Hall of Fame induction. Oh, high school Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Football Hall. Yeah, y'all about that next week. <laughs> What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. This is the Port Away Podcast. This is Anthony Brunal, and this is Carson A. Merck. Tell them what to do. Hey, like, subscribe, comment, follow follow us on all social media platforms. <laughs> subscribe. I'm from Louisiana. I'll talk with a B. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it right. again. Let's all do right. It. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Support You're here podcast. already. You're already here. Hey, <laughs> hey, this is our outro. We're going to do it how we want to. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brunal. Carson A. Merck, like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way. <laughs>